Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you came back and joined me. I'm continuing the story about Daniel and uh, his accusers who accused him of being faithful to worship God every day. Oh my. <laughs> it says, These men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. And by the way, in America, it is very possible for you and I, if you're a Christian, to be... Uh, accused of things and blamed for things because we worship God or submit to godly principles in our life. Unbelievable, right? No, it's happening. And it says, Then they came near, they spake before the king concerning the king's decree, Hast thou not signed a decree that every man sh that should shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. So the king says, I can't change it. I signed it. Now it's the law. I can't change it. Then they answered and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. The king did not like to hear this. It says, The king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. You see, the king did not want to punish Daniel because Daniel was the best advisor he had. He was probably the only one that always told him the truth, and what he had to say was wisdom. And it says, and he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. He's trying to figure out how to save Daniel from his own decree. Then these men assembled unto the king and said to the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel, cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, This is amazing. Thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. This is a pagan king who recognized the goodness of Daniel and was beginning to see that the reason Daniel had wisdom and a good spirit was because of his relationship with God, the living God. And a stone was brought, laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace, and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. He couldn't sleep all night, because he didn't want to lose Daniel, this 80-plus-year-old man. Then the king arose very early in the morning, went in haste unto the den of lions, and when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living, living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live, live forever. My, my God hath sent his angel, and hath shut the lions' mouths, that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then the king was exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found on him, because he believed in his God. I command you to put your faith and trust in God, and in his son Jesus Christ, who died for you. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, their wives, and the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces, wherever they came at the bottom of the den. Then king Daniel wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, Peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men may tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, and steadfast forever, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivers, and he rescues, he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius, and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. What evil men meant to do harm, God worked it together for good and proved that he is God. There is no other. God bless you. Put your faith and trust in him, will you?